Hello family, today is Thursday the 26th, I think, of, uh, the 26th or the 28th, what's today? Shit, is it the 28th? I think it's the 28th, it's Thursday, it's the, the 28th of January, and it's 8.46 in the a.m., and I have come on to do a video for no other than Black China. Girl, girl. Let me clear this room first because I don't know who's in here and we might have a deacon or something in here that might not want to handle all this right here. So I'm going to ask that you go ahead on and you step on out. You know what I'm saying? Go on, go, Bobby. This ain't for you. You know what I mean? Now the rest of y'all can come on come on back up in this piece if you want to. Handle it if you can. If you can't, let that bitch through. You know what I mean? Anyway, girl, China, I don't know your first name and I don't want to call you black. I much rather prefer to call you China. You know what I mean? I don't even know your name like that. But, you know, here in California, you're all over the news. You're all over everything. And, you know, everybody has an opinion. And I'm just coming to you as a girl. You know what I'm saying? That's one of your girls. Um, Mama. We don't really know the full story. We don't know a lot of things. And all we can get is bits and pieces of what you guys are throwing out there. And what is it that you guys want us to see. But I wanted to come on. As, you know what I'm saying, a woman of wisdom to come in and just put you up on a little bit of something. Mama, take care of you and your son. Okay? You need to be taking care of you and your son. You got these cameras, lights, camera action, all this shit going on. Okay? I just want to bring some shit into perspective. Know this. That right now you're in a position to make some shit happen for you and your son's life right now. Okay? I don't know if this is a ploy. I don't know if this is part of the show. I don't know what's happening. But I do know that the Kardashians have started um, filming as of last week for the new season of uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And um, I, I have a lot of respect for them. I ain't going to downplay them. I ain't going to talk about them or none of that kind of shit. Because I think Chris is one of the baddest bitches in the game. I think she's very gorgeous and she has very beautiful daughters. And I just love me some Chloe. So let me just go ahead and say that. I ain't got anything bad to say. But now that it has come out or you guys have put it out there that... You know, you and Rob are having some form of relations, relationship, friendship, whatever the case. I don't care. Mama, I'm coming here for the sake of you. Somebody got to come and yo, come for you. And I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you as an older sister, as that auntie. I'm coming for you in that sense. I think that it is beautiful. I ain't got anything bad to say. If, if you and him then hooked up or whatever the case, that's cool. Hey, whatever's clever. All I'm going to ask you to do, though, is make sure you take care of you and your son. Allow them to do them. These people are in the business. I'm not saying that Rob ain't feeling nothing for you if he is or whatever. If that's just your friend, whatever. Hey, but still at the end of the day, handle you for your business for you and your son. You know what I mean? Get you some shit that you can afford. Because, see, now you fucking with motherfuckers that got money already that they are set for the rest of their lives. They got legacy coins. The Kardashian name got a legacy coin that's going far surpass north. Okay, so right now, lights, camera, action is on you right now. You are the focus of TMZ and all this right now, girl. If I was you, real shit, I will get me a pad that I can afford. I will move into me a house that I can afford. Cause this gated community shit. That's cool for right now because right now you're the it girl. Everybody want to know who you are. Everybody's trying to find out what's up with you and Rob. Every time, everybody, motherfuckers ain't even tripping on ticking on more with you. You know what I mean? Right now, that shit is background like a motherfucker. Motherfuckers is like, wait a minute, hold on. What's up with her and Rob? You know what I'm saying? Now, let me just say this. I ain't mad one way, shape, or form. You're not married. You're not, you are married to this motherfucker. This nigga, he was, what, 20-something, was fucking with an old girl. She was, what, 16, 17, whatever, whatever. And now he got a lookalike going on. Girl, look, check this out. You had a baby by him. You chose that nigga at that point in time. Now it's time to go ahead and start taking care of you, mom. We all done some things, you know what I mean? I done done a few things, too, to where I look back at it and be like, damn, what the fuck was I, for real? I did what? But still no less, mama. You in a position, though, to make the rest of your life kind of cool. 
okay? So I'm just getting ready to give you the tools that you're going to need so when you get in your 40s like me, you're going to be all right because of the decisions that you have made right now at this point in time in your life. What you need to do, enjoy that gated community shit, but enjoy that gated community shit on somebody else's dime. Because, see, if them cameras is going to be following my motherfucking ass all around and it got a K on, on that motherfucker, then, nigga, I'm going to need y'all to put me up in the pad. Real shit. I'm going to need y'all motherfuckers to put me. They just put Lamar down the street, didn't they? Chloe just signed a motherfucking lease for that nigga to be down the street from her pad, within a mile from her house. But, like, again, I said, they started recording the new season last year. So then therefore to bring more attention to the show and to bring more to what's this next? Because now I want to see what the next season going to be. Lamar down the street. Now you over here with Rob. I mean, we seeing him out here. You know what I'm saying? He going into the gate, your spot. You know what I'm saying? All this shit could be some things that's pertaining to the show. But if that is the case... And you are the it girl right now. Motherfuckers really want to know what's going on. And now we're seeing the the, the knockoff from from who uh, what, Kendall's and, and all these motherfuckers. Man, there's all kinds of shit going on. There's all kinds of plots and storylines that's going on with the Kardashians right now. One of them was fucking with the, the boy group. The other one, she was fucking with your dude. But now he got the look alike. And now her mama done told her to get off of social media. So it's like, what she got going on? Then Kim, she just had a baby. And, you know, now her husband trying to dip in on Amber and trying to get this little plot twist going. Chloe got her new show going on. What's happening with that? You know what I'm saying? Then the other one, she got all these babies. Scott doing what he doing. But yet and still, he also moved down the street. But damn, damn, wasn't he just with Amber, your partner, but last week? So it's like all this shit is going on. But once again, the show started taping last week. If, if this is all part of the show, mama, you need to get you some. Baby, you need to buy your motherfucking house or whatever. Get you something nice that you can afford long term. Because you got to understand. Living in gated communities come with um, homeowners association fees and shit. And see, right now, you know, you finger popping and all this whole type of shit right now because, you know, the cameras and lights and action is on you. But once the shit turn around and it's no longer on you, it's not going to be on you all the time because everybody had their season. You better look back at Lisa Ray and all these motherfuckers. Maybe that shit go all the way back to... uh. What's her name? Vanity and all them motherfuckers. This shit go way back. It's always been an it girl. Way back. It always been one. Okay? But just so happened now, it's your turn right now. You know, motherfuckers want to see what's going on with you. But what you need to do is make this shit work out in your favor to where you're going to be able to have some longevity with this shit. The Whereas when all of the all the shine and shit then came off of it, now you still living in your spot. You and your son, you got him in a nice little school and all this kind of shit. You got shit in your name that you can say that this is mine. This shit don't say Black China. This shit say Natasha Reed or whatever your name is. That's what that says. You know what I'm saying? So, baby, if I was you, I'd been and bought me a house in motherfucking Culver City or something. Badass little spot. You know what I'm saying? Got me a badass ride because see, you got to get a car that you be able to be able to afford them tags and shit. Because see, you got to be able to get them tags every year. Yeah, you can roll around in Bentleys and shit for this motherfucking show or whatever the case. You know what I mean? But you got to have some shit in your name. Because didn't old boy already took the motherfucking uh, G-Wagon and try to give it to re-gift that motherfucker? You know, and all that kind of shit that lets you know it wasn't nothing in your name. You need to start getting things in your name. At the end of the day, this shit say Natasha Reed. You can't come get a motherfucking thing over here, nigga. Get off my property right now. You know what I'm saying? Get off my shit right now. You need your own tilt right now. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do. You, your body is beautiful. You Money well spent. All that old type of shit. You got a pass. You done done that, done that, done some of that. Mama, that's all well and good. You didn't have no babies. You was out having a good time. Now you have a son. He's, what, about two or three years old? It's time to start trying to figure out now what the fuck am I going to do. I can't be out here still on boom. You know what I'm saying? I can't still be on base. Fuck turn up. You know what I mean? I'm on boom. No, you got to start dialing some of that motherfucking shit down. Because after a while, you know, it starts dialing down and you're going to be an afterthought. But the thing is, is what you do with it 
when you're in the limelight and you're in that glow, it's like, what decisions do I make? What do I need to do? And I'm going to ask that you come back and confer to this video. Refer to it. Then, therefore, what is it that I need to do? You need to be trying to get you some shit in your own motherfucking name and get a house and a home the words you can afford when you're 45. That's what the fuck you need to be doing. That ain't got no mellow rules, ain't got no homeowners association. Because later on, right now, that shit is cool. You want your son to be able to run out and shit. And, you know, you're in a gated community. Motherfucking TMZ and cameras and shit can't come in and can't fuck with nobody. I got all that. But if these motherfuckers is part of the show, how them motherfuckers paying for that shit and you banking your money to the side. So when... All this shit is over with, then therefore, boom, I can go ahead and take my money, go over here to Culver City or Encino or wherever you're trying to go, buy you a nice-ass house that you can afford, buy it outright if you can, with no no um mortgage. All you have is your taxes, which are due in April and December. You know what I'm saying? Taxes is due twice a year. Get yourself in a situation where it's all you got is your taxes to pay. Have these motherfuckers put solar panels all through this motherfucker. Whereas you ain't got no Southern California Edison light bill. You know what I'm saying? Start setting your shit up. Your body and shit is already cool. That money is all, ain't nothing else you can do with that, baby. You top of the line, top notch, bad. Now, start using some of that money to take care of some other shit. So, then, therefore, later on, when you become 44 years old like your girl, then, therefore, you still got remnants of, damn, nigga, I was, nigga, I've been bad, motherfucker. I ain't back at my mama house. I ain't none of that shit. This is my shit right here. My son is in the eighth grade, and I'm straight. You know what I mean? I'm cool. You know what I mean? I'm cool. Yeah, I've been and done that. You're going to be able to come on this motherfucker and going to be able to tell somebody else. Because this shit comes in waves. And after you, it's going to be somebody else. But what you need to do is while these cameras and shit is following your motherfucking ass, go ahead on and lay your shit. Get your piece of the rock and lay you some shit down for you and your motherfucking son. You know what I'm saying? Go and get child support division on this motherfucker so they can keep, so they can keep tallying up the money every month. You know what I'm saying? So then, therefore, that's money banked. Whether this nigga pay you or not, they're going to give you chunks later on because, okay, he didn't pay no support this month. Okay, fine. They keep track of it. You know what I'm saying? They got they got the app and all that where you can go on there and say, okay, well, you know what? I got money this month. I didn't get money. I got money. I did. And it's going to be the tally at the bottom, how much you owe and all that kind of shit. Baby, that's money in the bank. Right now, excuse me. Right now, Kardashian and them is handling all this right now. It's not the fact of using nobody. If they're going to use you, use the system. Use the whole thing. Now, but if you're going to be with old boy or whatever, then I think that it's a beautiful thing. You know, we as women, we're nurturers by nature. That's who we are. You know what I'm saying? So if this is a softer side of you and you really feel in a particular way about him, because he's a fine motherfucker, truth be told, even when Rob was heavy, I still didn't see a motherfucking problem because he's, he's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. He's a handsome guy. A handsome guy. And last I checked, he was fucking with one of the cheetah girls or whatever, but then hell, he's he not like he was all out there just wilding out on some Justin Bieber fucking everybody and out here doing the utmost. He ain't been doing that. So, girl, if that's who you fucking with, you winning, 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 because he ain't been out there like that. So what? He smoked some weed. All of us smoke weed. We in California, hey, who don't smoke weed in this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? What is that? He want a fat burger, nigga, no problem. It's kind of cool to me when a dude ain't got no problem with what the fuck he eating, and therefore, nigga, you ain't monitoring mine. You know what I'm saying? But to help him become healthy, especially when, you know, diabetes and all these other things is looming, and if you're going to help push him past all that and get him to a healthy uh, uh, way of living and get him healthy, girl, that's cool as a motherfucker. Hell yeah, that nigga love your ass forever. Fuck the shit out of him, too. If you get if, if it come to that point and you decide to run that nigga some pussy, girl, you better get that nigga the platinum. You need to go ahead on and pull some of that shit off that motherfucking pole, bitch, and go ahead on and give it to him right. Real shit, I'm just telling you. Because he's not one that's been out there like that. He's a very handsome man. That's a whole handsome stock. That whole crew is good looking. Okay? And they got enough money. If they ain't, goddammit, we already know who we can call to go ahead on and turn this up a few notches. I need to tweak that, do this, that, this, this, this. They know who to call. So, girl, right now, if dude is feeling a particular kind of way about you, mama, you got the, what they say, the Willy Wonka ticket, the gold ticket, bitch, you got that motherfucker. You got that motherfucker. China, you got it, baby. You got it. But the thing is, is what you gonna do with it. 
If he feel a particular kind of way with you, don't fuck with him. Don't, don't, don't. It's not a game. Because karma is real. And this shit can turn around and go kaboom on your motherfucking ass. Bitch, you could be blackballed out of this hole. Them motherfuckers is almost like the Kennedys. You understand me? They, it's, it's almost to that degree. Here in, in, in the entertainment mecca, in that, in the Calabasas, in the L.A. area, you know what I mean? Their name is almost like, you know, to a, almost to a degree of Hilton, you know, because of their empire and what they got going on. And if you are in on that and you are in there and he loving and feeling a particular kind of way for you, girl, don't fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck it up. I'm going to just say right here, mama, I don't want nothing from you. If you just need to confer to some shit or you just need a sound in mind or somebody just going just to listen to or something like that, you ain't got to call me up. I got videos all, I got videos out the game, over 2,300 of these motherfuckers. Just go through and pull and pull out what you need, you know what I mean? This is what I do. I'm true to it, you know what I'm saying? This is what the fuck I do. This ain't no new shit. Coming and talking to women, because I done been and done that, you know? I was married for over 20 years, you know what I mean? I done, been, I done been an it girl most of my life, you know? There was times I was in and out of a whole bunch of things. But at the back of the line was I always had a husband, so I wasn't out giving out no motherfucking pussy. I didn't. I was, I was mommy wife at the house, you know? I was out there and I was hanging out and I was doing all that shit, but I wasn't fucking no motherfucking body, see? So my shit is still rather preserved, you know? You know? Now... I know you and Amber, I don't know where you guys are at on y'all friendship or whatever, but I thought y'all were some cool motherfuckers. But I also know that sometimes we as girls, we fall out, you know? We as girls fall out. I don't see, and a lot of times it'd be a jealousy thing a lot of times on what, what, what makes girls fall out because one girl can't do what the other girl is doing. So I don't see that in y'all particular case because both of y'all motherfuckers is bad. So I don't see how that could have been a, an issue. Now with broke girls... You know what I'm saying? Or just regular girls. It, it'd be a lot of that, bitch. You able to do that, and I can't do that. Bitch, your body look like that, and mine don't look like that. Bitch, you able to go and buy a car, and I can't do that. Bitch, you able... And that's what make, you know, just regular girlfriends fall out. You know, this one get a boyfriend, and he got a little bit more going on. He trying to get her out of the game. You know what I'm saying? Trying to turn her life around and shit. So her girl that she been fucking with all the time, she a little bit jealous because she, all she still is fucking with dime, dime weed selling bag niggas. You know what I'm saying? Cash for gold niggas. She still fucking with them. You know, money tree motherfuckers and, and all this money pay loan motherfuckers and all that old type of shit. So then hell, and now this one got her a motherfucker that worked for Chase Bank. They fall out because now she feel like, you know... I can't do what you're doing no more. You you going you you're venturing into a different thing, so they get je one get jealous of the other one. They kind of fall out. I don't see how that could have been really a case with you guys because both of you guys have been, you know. Well, Amber Rose is not really a baby mama because she's actually a wife. You know that puts her in a different category. That puts her in some longevity shit, whereas her shine can last a little bit longer than yours. That's why I'm saying, you know, right now you're not a wife. You you know. I don't know what your status is, you know what I'm saying? But right now, you're in a situation and you're putting yourself in a place to whereas men also catch feelings, mama. Men catch feelings too, you know? So, then therefore, if you in this situation now for this man to catch some feelings for you, and especially if you take him out of that dark zone, he'll love you forever, mama. He will love you forever, and he will have a trust embedded in you that cannot be broken. And right now, girl, you winning, don't fuck it up. China, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. You and your friendship with Amber, I really hope that it finds its way back. Because you guys just seem like, man, damn. I mean, y'all friendship, motherfuckers was envious like a motherfucker. That was friendship goes like a motherfucker shit, bitch. You, you ain't got a problem with sucking pussy too? Oh my God, bitch, come on over. That's Netflix or whatever the get down is nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, man... Y'all had a friendship that was so cool to a lot of women that was on that was on looking like, damn, I want one of them friends. See, they go and they get they get breast jobs together. They they go and they get they motherfucking this right here done. And man, they all shopping and they doing this and they in Dubai and all this. Man, y'all had a friendship that was shoot the kill. It was cool. On some Thelma Louise shit. I really hope that y'all find y'all way back. Cause y'all really looked good together. Real shit. Real, real, real shit. Now, it could have been that somebody, somebody caught feelings. This one was eating the pussy and the motherfucker caught feelings. It could have been that. Because I don't see how either one of y'all could have been jealous of the other. Because both of y'all is very pretty girls. So, I don't see how one could have been, 
you know, jealous of like, you know, you know, the regular girls, you know, one get jealous of the other. I don't see how y'all could have had that. So maybe one caught feelings and you know what I'm saying? You one of them was still on dick. I'm still on dick. I I just can't be gay full time. Fuck that. I don't wanna be on the float or none of that shit. But just in case if you want me to suck on your pussy from time to time, I'm your girl you call. You are my friend. All that kind of shit. Yeah, y'all seem like y'all was that. You know, and a lot of motherfuckers was like, damn, that shit is cool as a motherfucker. Nigga, I was a fan. You understand me? I was like, damn, I want me a friend. I want me a friend, and I can just call up and shit, bitch, you gonna get in the bed with us? And everybody cool? You know? Y'all just seem like y'all had that going on. But anyway, girl, mama, it's your turn. I'm gonna ask that you play the game right. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You need, you need some women around you that's going to help you, you know what I'm saying, get your shit together. Real shit. You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't know too much about your mom or nothing like that. I don't know where her head is at. But if her head is on business, like my head be on business, then you're going to be all right. But if your mama is on some girl, let me tell you. See, you know, that ain't going that ain't gonna get it done. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna totally get it done. You need some women that have been there and done that and know something about knowing something about, you know what I mean? And when you got those kind of friends that know a little bit about some things, girl. Anyway, um, China, I hope for the best for you, really. I hope you make some lifelong decisions for you and your son, and I hope that it works out the way that you want it to. Right now, the ball's in your court, girl, and you're able to steer this motherfucker wherever, whichever way you want to go. You're the it girl right now. TMZ and everybody want to hear what you got to say. You know what I mean? Girl, make this money. Don't let this money make you. On that note, mama, I'm out. Deuces. I love you. Love you for watching. Girl, you take care. Come get what you need when you need it.